Hey, everybody. Thank you for joining us today. In the interest of time, we're going to get started here. And if people come in a little bit late, then uh, they can catch up with us. Just a couple housekeeping things. Uh, first of all, my name is Ryan McEwen. I'm the head of marketing here at Renova Solar. I'm joined with um, Amanda Postma, who's in charge of commercial sales for us. And she's going to be walking you through this presentation as I sit quietly in the background. Um, but we do have a Q&A uh, option for you all. You'll see it in your Zoom window. If you have any questions, please put them in. We'll address them at the end of the presentation. Uh, also, you'll find Amanda's email at the end of that presentation. Feel free to send those questions to her directly. Uh, as always, after this webinar is over, we'll be sending a recorded version of the presentation to all of our participants. And we'll also be sending you an expanded version uh, with some text co that covers some of the things that Amanda will speak about that kind of gives you the full A to Z uh, explanation of all things commercial solar here at Renovus. So without further ado, I'll turn the floor over to Amanda uh, and she'll take you through the rest of the presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Ryan, and good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, I look forward to talking with you about commercial solar and how you can generate some sustainable savings. So we will dive right in. As soon as we flip the slide, there we go. So solar investment is commonplace. This is no longer fringe technology. Companies, both large and small, are realizing the benefits of solar, and those go far beyond just greenwashing. Um, we're seeing real financial savings here. So Apple, currently 93% of facilities are run on renewable power systems. They have over 200 megawatts of solar installed at the moment. Cloud computing has created extraordinary energy demands at data centers across the United States. And by the end of 2018, Apple is expected to be a 100% uh, solar powered company. They plan to deploy hundreds of megawatts of systems to power their offices, retail outlets, and data centers. Uh, the next example you see there is Walmart. And it might surprise a lot of people that Walmart is the second highest investment uh, in solar of all the Fortune 500 companies. Uh, Walmart isn't often thought of as a super green company, and they've been really transparent in the reasons that they're investing in solar, and it's because it's a smart investment financially. They want to save money and pass those savings on to their millions of customers. Um, next there is Target. And while Target was a little late to the game in terms of solar adoption, it's definitely made up for it by expanding its overall solar investment rapidly over the past five years. Um, their strategy to offset costs has been to commit to 500 solar projects on their store roofs by 2020. Here's a chart that shows the amount of installed solar capacity across many of these Fortune 500 companies. Um, and what you'll notice is that there's a lot of retailers on this list. A lot of box stores have large roof spaces. And for a long time, that was really the only option for going solar was on a roof space. Now we have many more ways companies can go solar and we'll get into those in just a minute. Um, another thing that you'll see is that companies like Whole Foods, REI, Patagonia, you know, companies that you really think of when you think of a sustainability mission, they're much lower on the list. Uh, and that's important. Companies aren't just doing this for greenwashing or, or for the sustainability effect. They're also doing this to save money. So the benefits of going solar are, are really multi-pronged. First of all, you can reduce your operating costs. By generating your own electricity, you are saving money in uh, the energy that you're using. And that happens immediately on day one when the system is turned on. So you can eliminate often all of your electricity usage. We're typically charged for electricity in a few different ways. Meter charges, delivery charges, demand charges, supply charges. Um, now, as opposed to, to in the past, we can offset all of those by going solar. Second there, you can hedge against rising utility costs. You know, we like to think of going solar as buying the next 25 years of electricity up front. That's how long a lot of this equipment is warranted for. And by doing so, you can lock in a much lower rate for that electricity uh, than you would have if you kept renting it month by month from the utility company, especially when we know um, that those utility prices are going up 
and, and we have no choice, right, but to accept those charges. Uh, thankfully, that's wrong. We can make our own energy and um, lock in a lower rate for it. Third there is marketing and public relations. Uh, solar investment plays really well with customers. They want to align their um, purchasing choices with their values. Oftentimes that means living sustainably and supporting local business. Uh, this is something that can get your business a lot of notoriety. Uh, and we would love to tell your story uh, in conjunction with ours on how we can save money by making clean and renewable power. And of course, lastly, the environmental impact. This is something that's real. We can see exactly the amount of carbon we're offsetting and, and translate that into a real impact that's going to um, lessen the effects of climate change, which are starting to get very, very scary. Types of solar installations, like I said, we have more options now than ever before. Um, traditionally, you know, a lot of people thought about roof mounted systems as the only option and it's still an excellent one. Your roof can pull double duty by, you know, uh, keeping out to the effects of the weather, but also generating your electricity. It would add to your building's um, equity. Uh, as well as saving on your energy costs. And it also is visible. You can have your system be seen by the public and, and really advertise your, your system in a way there. Ground mounted systems are also fantastic if you have the space to do so. Um, it's nice because it's relatively unlimited. Uh, you're not uh, you know, hindered by a, a certain footprint of a roof. And so you can scale up accordingly. But if you don't own or have a long-term lease on your building or your property, um, your roof isn't big enough or it isn't going to support the uh, solar installation itself, the newest way to go solar is on a community solar farm. So you can uh, rent or own panels. Um, well, you would own them typically, own panels on a community farm, just like you would if they were on your own property. All of the electricity generated by those panels is bought immediately by the utility and treated as a credit on your account. Uh, they're installed in a place that has a perfect solar resource. So uh, oftentimes you need fewer of them to make the same amount of power, which would lower your upfront investment. Um, and then we, Renovus, handle all of the operation and maintenance of your system, giving you full peace of mind. So if you wanna go solar, we likely have an application that would work for you. We'll dive into a couple of local case studies here. First of all is Ithaca Beer Company. Um, Ithaca Beer Company came to Renovus in 2017 with a mission to offset as much of their production costs using solar as possible. Uh, the brewery's rapid expansion over the past five years has increased both their electrical demand of the facility and of the overall operating cost. Ithaca Beer's expansion also had an unintended consequence, creating a series of roofs that would support a larger solar system, um, which allowed them to install more solar to offset more of their cost. So we worked with the Ithaca Beer team and local financiers to help get clearance for the brewery to purchase a 200 kW system, which was installed entirely on their uh, existing and new roof spaces. The system uh, consists of nearly 700 solar panels and offsets 25% of their costs. Vector Magnetics is a small private industrial company specializing in the design and manufacturing of imaging equipment for the drilling industry. They were interested in a solar investment for both financial and environmental reasons, and it became one of the first commercial owners of offsite solar in New York. So they have ground mounted solar panels that are located away from their manufacturing facility. Vector Magnetics has been the proud owner of a Renovus system uh, for more than three years. It consists of over 450 panels um, and the system has enabled significant cost savings for the company, which has resulted in reinvestment of that revenue and steady growth over the past few years. And the last year's PPM Homes, PPM Homes is a local owner of uh, many properties throughout the, the region here. Um, they own a 210 kW offsite system, which could technically be classified as a solar farm. Panels are uh, owned and operated offsite, and then the credits that they generate go to the accounts of those individual properties. 
So over 228,000 kilowatt hours are generated annually. So why now? Why is it a good time to go solar? Well, the timing, frankly, is just right. As you can see, costs have come down exponentially over the last few years, but you'll notice there in, in 2015 and through now, they really started to levelize. Um, second, financial incentives are still available and are very compelling. We'll get into exactly what those are in a few minutes. Um, but know that they will phase out over time. These financial incentives were first put in place to help spur the industry. They've certainly done that. They're still here. Um, so we've really reached a great sweet spot of these lowering of costs and still having these financial incentives. And three, pro-renewable energy and connection, interconnection policy now gives us more options than ever before in our area to go solar. In New York, we have a renewable portfolio standard that dictates that 50% of all of the energy generated in New York needs to come from renewable resources by the year 2030. Um, policies such as net metering and community distributed generation just mean that you get fair credit for all of the electricity that you generate and you can generate that electricity either on your own property or off site. So here are those financial incentives I mentioned. The first is a grant from NYSERDA. NYSERDA is the New York State Energy Research and Development Authority. And they'll give you a grant based on the size of the system that you install. And typically that can reduce your upfront costs to the project by 20% or more. And that is going to phase out over time. It's really a first come first serve incentive. Tax credits, the federal investment tax credit is equal to 30% of your total project cost. So it's a really impactful tool in making this financially attractive. Um, it's flexible according to your tax appetite as to how you wanna take that. Um, you can take it all in the first year. If you have the tax liability, you can implement it retroactively to the year prior uh, to installing your solar system. Or if you'd like, you can spread it out technically over 20 years until it's used up. So very flexible. This tax credit though won't be around forever. It is phasing out uh, in 2020. Lastly there, you'll see bonus depreciation. Uh, that refers to the maker's bonus depreciation. And due to the recent tax reform, solar customers can now depreciate the full value of the system um, in year one, rather than doing it in a five-year schedule. So again, if you have the tax appetite to do that, this can greatly improve the year one economics. So this just shows you how we can reduce the overall project cost. You start at 100%, you would take off that NYSERDA grant, uh, and we credit that to you immediately up front off the sticker price of the system. Um, once the system is installed and operational and you're happy, you sign some paperwork so that money can come to us as your installer at the end. Then you see the federal tax credit, it comes back to you at tax time along with that bonus depreciation and then by the end of the day you're only paying 30 to 40 percent of that total sticker price. Now how do we make that possible? There's a lot of great financing options and in my mind this is where the solar industry has actually made the biggest strides because a lot of these large and small companies are adopting solar financiers understand that this is a smart investment they want to finance these systems. Um, a common option is loan uh, using debt financing. Typical terms are a 10-year loan, somewhere around 4.99% interest. Typically that will require a 25% down payment, um, but the NYSERDA incentive, that grant I mentioned before, can count towards that cost, making your initial out-of-pocket um, out expense uh, really affordable. It's a really good option for businesses that have the ability to effectively use tax credits because when you get those tax credits back, oftentimes these financiers will let you put those tax incentives towards the loan uh, to buy it down. They'll reamortize that payment. And then by year two, your loan payment is actually significantly less than what your utility savings was. And that's demonstrated in that graph there to the left. You'll see for the first year, you're, you've made an investment in your system. You're paying more for the loan uh, than you are in your electricity savings. But by year two, when you've realized those tax incentives, your loan payment is now much lower. By year 10, your loan payment is gone. And you can see just how significant those savings are. Another option is something called a power purchase agreement, often referred to as a PPA. 
if you're a municipality or a nonprofit or a company that has little tax liability and those tax benefits aren't helpful for you, um, you can go with this option. Here, a third party uh, owns the system and basically fronts the capital costs. So your upfront investment is very, very minimal. You will then rent the electricity that the system owns. So you're getting the benefit of utilizing this clean, renewable, locally generated power. And you're paying that for that power a rate that is often similar or lower than what your current electric cost is. That rate is often either fixed or uh, increases at a consistent and known rate. Uh, that's not variable. So in that way, it can also hedge against um, uh, you know, volatile utility prices. So just to recap, there are immediate benefits of going solar. The combination of the financial incentives, the marketing and public relation value, and not to mention the immediate savings on the energy that you're using, um, really make going solar beneficial to the year one economics. Cost reductions, you know, a lot of us consider our electricity bills as a, a, a given, something that there's no way around in order to run our business. And that's just not the case. We don't have to accept what the utility is selling. We can make our own power and pay a lower rate for it. And these systems are hardy and last for decades. Like I said, 25 year manufacturer's warranties. So they're gonna last a, a relatively a long time. Most businesses save tens and sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars over the life of the system. If this sounds interesting and you want to see what your solar options are, we are happy to do that um, and, and show you what's possible. First, we want to start by analyzing your bills, get a sense for what you're paying for electricity and how much power you're using so that we can determine how many panels you might need, where those panels would uh, be located in a most effective way for you and how we should interconnect the system so that you get the the biggest bang for the buck. Uh, second, we'd set an appointment to go through an estimate, um, explain the, the way the system would work, answer any questions you might have and, and see if the proposal looks interesting. If it does, we would do a detailed site evaluation uh, and use that data to put together a final quote for you. Uh, at that point, you draft and sign a proposal then we would design uh, and permit the system. And at this point, once you've signed the proposal, this is all in Renovis's hands. We offer these as turnkey systems and really make this worry free for you. Um, and lastly, construct and interconnect the system in as little as, as three months. So that is what I had for the presentation today. I wanna to thank you so much for coming. Again, my name is Amanda Postma, and if you are interested in learning more, uh, you can email me below there, apostma at renovasolar.com. Uh, that below there is my cell phone number. Please feel free to call 607-793-4515, and I'll hand it back to Ryan. Fantastic. Well, thank you, Amanda, for that. Um, we hope that, it, you know, ultimately uh, you all are able to take this presentation. Um, feel free to share it with people within your organization. Uh, it, it's obviously, you know, a, a gospel that we want to spread far and wide because we think that going solar is uh, as impactful for residential customers as commercial, sometimes more impactful and more beneficial for commercial customers. Um, so uh, if you're interested in sharing this presentation in any way, shape or form, feel free to do so. Keep an eye on your inbox later today. What we will do is actually send along a PDF version of this presentation, as I said, with expanded text. And if for whatever reason you're interested in, in rewatching it and hearing some, some more of Amanda's insights, uh, there will also be a secondary email that goes out likely midway through this week that actually has a recording of the video that is hosted directly on our website. Uh, just to reiterate what Amanda said, if you're interested in hearing more about these commercial systems, talking to our team, um, we are educators at heart and we want to make sure that we're um, showing you what you need to know in order to make smart choices about your business's energy future. So feel free to reach out. We're happy to talk to you. Um, no pressure scenarios kind of about your business and, and what we think might work for you. We're happy to send you over references to some of our other business partners. Um, you know, everyone who works with Renovus loves us. It's, how, it's one of the beautiful things of being a local company. Uh, so feel free to reach out at any point. Thanks for coming. Uh, and if you have any questions, please shoot them along to Amanda or myself. Cheers.